Welcome, this is my review of the 118 scale Mondo Motors Pagani Zonda F. Very, very cool car. Real car and the model. This is a hand built Italian hyper car, basically. Mercedes V12, 7.3 liters in the back. Making 600, 594 horsepower, I think, in the F. Chinque, the most powerful one, well, except for the R, but road legal, and that makes 678 horsepower. Uh, most state of the art, because the body, everything that's orange on this car, and almost everything else, is made of carbon fiber, very lightweight material. This car weighs less, or about the same weight as a Lotus Elise, with twice the power. More than twice the power. So, let's get started. This model market's for about $35. I got mine from Collectible Diecast, which is where I get all my models. Comes in orange, silver. Uh, comes in a couple different colors. You can also buy a Chinque, which is made by the same company. But it replicates the Pagani's on the Chinque. I just like the F. Uh, this car has steering wheels. Rolling wheels, of course. They're all independent. All wheels are. That means whichever wheel you spin, the one on the other side will not. This car is finished in orange with black. It's like a two-tone. It's actually supposed to replicate carbon fiber. Beautiful Italian hand-built car. Made by Pagani. A guy named Horatio Pagani designed all these cars. Back in the 1990s, they started and now they create cars that can go as fast as a Bugatti Veyron around the track. And the front, nothing really opens in the front. You get very, very well detailed fog lights and headlights. You get a little splitter there, molded on there, replicating the lights, the mirrors are uh, molded to replicate carbon fiber. You get this little Pagani thing going here in the middle. Windshield wiper is an independent piece of plastic as you can see it flexes. It does not to go through the normal routine so. The wheels are black. They are the Pagani spoke wheels. You can see Pagani written there on the clamp with the drill brakes. They don't spin with the wheels. They are nice time. You get all these little air extensions all over the car. Very extreme looking. Uh, as you can see, the car looks absolutely amazing. Going on to the on the rear, you get a little window to view that Mercedes V12. The hood is very large, as you can see, compared to the rest of the car. Very large area. Uh, rear spoiler, piece of plastic mold to look like carbon fiber. Looks more like carbon fiber in the camera than it does because it's all shiny. Very, very large wheel wheels. You know, lift the car up a little bit so you can see those. As you can kind of see. Very large rear wheels. The camera doesn't even quite capture how big they are. You get the exhaust, the four pipe. Doesn't go in too deep, but it does go in a little bit. Three lights there. We got Zonda F. Right there on the tail, replicating like carbon fiber. Spoiler is quite large. And that's about it. So we'll get to the interior. Uh, the interior. Open the door. Which for $35, this car isn't the tightest fitting. Uh, as you can see, things like it doesn't just fit real tightly like it should for $35, but it is very well detailed. Oh, front wheels, they do steer, but it's a very, very short travel. Barely steer. Little things on the side there. Didn't mention that. Oh, the mirrors are not a piece of silver tape, they're just painted with the silver paint. 
Let's see if I can get this window open. My fingernails are really short. Very large door there. You can see with the full window. Good thickness. Maybe not scale correct, but it won't flex. And there you got the interior. Your light since it's all black, even though there isn't much to see. A little petals molded black back there. Not too detailed interior. You get a little bit of carbon fiber looking stuff on the center console. Steering wheel depicted to look like wood brown down there. You get that open middle in there. With all the little air vents on top. Uh, the steering wheel has Pagani written in the middle. Oh. Seat. Not much to it. Uh, I did modify this car today. Because the steering wheel did turn with the wheels originally. And I got into the car and cut off the area that goes to the steering wheel because the wheels travel so short and so does the steering wheel. So the steering wheel, there's basically no point to travel about that much. So I, I can just cut it off so they can make a full turn now. But now you can make it look like it's more realistic. You don't have to do that with your model, but adds a nice touch to mine. I like doing that kind of stuff. As you can see, it's all clear plastic on the, t the top. It's kind of tinted, but even then, you can still see through. And that's because Ferraris, typically Lamborghinis, have a real dark interior. Mr. Pagani decided that he wanted to solve that problem, so he put clear plastic, well, clear glass. The model depicts that clear plastic all around the car. You get a little separate window there on the side behind the normal windows. Around the back, you have to open the doors just ever so slightly. Not a whole lot. You do have to open the doors to get to the hood, which once opens up like such reveals the Mercedes V12 which is depicted basically what you would expect for a lower end model piece of molded plastic and just a couple pieces in there you know plastic got a little roll cage installment of plastic over it and you got these little these are actually the boots that's where stuff is stored in the car the front does nothing. I don't even know what is under there in the real car, but that's where stuff is stored. As you can see in the back, you have the little exhaust tanks, which do not connect to the outside, to those four in the back. I don't know why, but they do not. Underneath, it's, it's pretty, they didn't even fully paint it. But that's what you get, you get that window. As you can see now, now you can really see those really wide and rear tires. Front tires are pretty wide too. So close that up. And then that's about what you get uh, with this model. Like I said, nothing going on underneath, by the way. Plain piece of plastic. But it is a fairly good model. I would. I just like this one because it came with the black wheels and everything, and I like black wheels on cars. And it looks outstanding. And the Chinque has a little scoop on the roof there. I don't like that styling on the Chinque. But I would recommend either this or the Chinque model. They both look outstanding. Both very cool. The Chinque was only five cars. This, I think, is 50. There's 50 Pagani Zonda Fs made, 25 Pagani Zonda F Roadsters, and 5 Pagani Zonda Chinkways. So that's, that concludes my review. Still have more reviews coming. Sub subscribe, rate, comment. Please email me at modelcarshow at hotmail.com if you have any long questions. Uh, if you subscribe, you'll be able to get know when my next reviews come out because I randomly will make them come out at any time and that concludes my review